One of the first methods used to measure time was an invention called the water clock. But back then it wasn't very accurate and eventually the clock evolved into a more precise device. After experimenting with springs and gears during the 1500s, clocks were being made in much smaller sizes. By the mid-1600s, the table clock saw household popularity. People were able to tell time based on only one hand. The distance between the hand and the number of the hours allowed people to guess the minute. Time-telling devices continued to get smaller, and the first pocket watch had one hand with no protective case. This caused them to be easily damaged, so watchmakers adapted the design. The first cases were made in the 1700s using gold or silver. Jumping ahead to 1910, pendulum clocks were commonly used in offices, operating on springs and, believe it or not, gravity. What has become the classic alarm clock with the snooze button on top was invented around the same time. Back then, it was known as the Big Ben Alarm Clock. Finally, the Snyder TV lamp clock made its debut in the 1950s and was quite popular. Today, it's considered a valuable collectible. Clocks have come a long way over history and have solidified themselves as a staple gadget in modern society. For all you camera geeks out there, including myself, it's time to join Ethel as she continues her visit in Las Vegas. Today she speaks with Canon and introduces us to the latest buzz in the world of digital camcorders and digital cameras. Technology changes very rapidly, and especially in the digital camera consumer business, we come out with new products every six months to meet that consumer demand. Six months, that's great. Every six months, right, exactly. We're showing our PowerShot SD980 IS Digital Elf. So what makes this so amazing? Well, it has, it's our first Canon touchscreen digital still camera. And not the entire menu is available via touch, but some of the more uh, strong features and quickly accessible features that you would access every day. For instance, Let's get into scene modes. Some of your popular scene modes, such as portrait, landscape, kids and pets, are all avail available via touch. So you would simply select your option, and now you're ready to go. That's great. Does this have facial recognition by any chance? Our version is called face detection technology. We came out with it about two years ago, one of the first digital camera manufacturers to come out with it. What it does is you point at your subject, it will recognize the face and stay on that face even if other faces come into the focus and that fo one face will be in perfect focus, perfectly white balance, perfectly exposed. I love photography but I also love videography. Do you have camcorders that have the feed of facial recognition as well? Yes, we do. Since Canon offers all kinds of solutions for consumers from input to output, we have an outstanding camcorder division. Ben, I hear camcorders have facial recognition. To me, this is a great solution to be able to possibly track who you're videoing. Right. All of our camcorders feature genuine candid face detection. In addition to that, we now feature touch and track. That allows you to select any object to be the focal point of your video simply by selecting it on the touch panel screen. So the technology for this camcorder, can you explain a little bit of that for me please? Yeah, this camcorder has 64 gigabytes of internal flash memory. That's the same technology that you find in an SD card. Okay. So it has it built into the camcorder. That's great. Now what if I run out of memory and the, the show's not over yet and I want to capture it? That's, that's great because the camcorder also features two card slots. So if you do fill up the internal memory, it'll go right to the next available source. Still photography and videography is advancing so fast. This new technology to have a touch screen and facial recognition is amazing. Now you can make sure that you capture all your memories and in the palm of your hand. Well, that wraps up another episode of Gadget Girls. We're working hard to bring you the latest and greatest in technology and electronics. By turning or, sorry, cool phone apps, what? what? Technological advancements are fast in, oh, Action. technology is, sorry. Action. And they're various inside scoops. So. One more time. <laughs>